and we are now joined by on three's director of recruiting chad simmons to break down the commitment of the number one running back in the on 300 for the class of 2023 cedric baxter has committed to texas chad what went into this for the longhorns to ultimately land cedric baxter I think in the end, J.D., it came down to relationships. I, I remember I was sitting in Baxter's home back right before Christmas in December when all the coaching carousel was going on. And the one coach he continued to talk about was Tashar Choice, the running backs coach now at Texas. He was going from Georgia Tech at the time to USC for a very short stint, then over to Texas from USC. And he, he always said from – from day one, his best connection was with Choice, just from the Georgia Tech times, uh, that relationship. I don't think Tech would have been a strong contender uh, just because he was valuing different things in different schools. But with that connection, that kept Tech in the conversation at least. And I think in the end, that relationship pushed Texas to the top for Cedric Baxter. And you said it perfectly to shard Choice being a big factor in this recruitment they landed trey weisner out of desoto and now getting cedric baxter from the state of florida what does this say about tashard choice as a guy who can recruit really effectively on a national level yeah just just people skills man i think obviously baxter and other running backs recognize that you know he had success in college he played in the nfl uh and so he's had success at the highest level and so many kids look at that now with position and they really always have but position coaches you know have they been there have they done that at the highest level and choice checks those boxes and then on the other side just a great people's person he relates to these guys i think they call him genuine transparent um just a real human being not trying to be that coach and be always in coach mode but being just a real person that communicates with the parents with the recruit and it says a lot about him i think is one of the top running back coaches in the game right now and chad what does this say about a school like texas right now who hasn't necessarily been super prominent on the national landscape, at least when it comes to the college football playoff and things of that nature. What does this say about the direction of Texas to be able to go into the state of Florida, like we just mentioned, and get a kid like Cedric Baxter? I mean, they have what we call Mo, that, that big Mo has arrived in Austin. That's momentum, you know, on the recruiting trail. I mean, what we've seen, obviously, since Arch Manning, the five-star plus quarterback for us on, on three uh, committing just the momentum, the wave of commitments. And I don't really think, you know, Manning had a big impact on, you know, Cedric Baxter, but it definitely didn't hurt to play with a guy like Arch, have the opportunity uh, in the future. But I think it just shows what Sarkeesian and, and his staff are doing on the recruiting trail. They're creating, you know, a new culture in Texas. They're showing kids there's opportunity outside of football in Austin. Of course, a big part of it is, player development, what you can do at the University of Texas between the lines, going to the SEC, playing amongst the best, against the best in the future. I think just, I think it speaks very highly of what Sark, Choice, and that staff is doing as they are re regenerating that enthusiasm, that excitement, that energy at the University of Texas. Chad, I'll get you out of here with this. What does Cedric Baxter bring to the table for Texas? You know, I think size, I think sneaky speed. He's a great cutback runner. Uh, he's powerful. I think durability. Uh, I think he's been consistent. Uh, I know I've seen him play a couple of times, saw him in the state championship game. I mean, he burst onto the scene as a freshman midway through the season, rushed for about 200 yards and three touchdowns in game one, and the rest is kind of history, kind of emerged one of those top guys. And he's just a guy with big – Big size, you know, strength, power, just a combination, somewhat, uh, you know, balls goes out of the backfield. To me, he's a three down running back at the University of Texas. Awesome. Well, Chad, thanks so much for coming on the workhorse, the Clydesdale of the college recruiting scene. Appreciate you coming on and dropping some insight on us. Big Mo has arrived in Austin. Cedric Baxter has committed to the Texas Longhorns. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.